My name is Leanne McDonough and I'm a visual artist. I'm also the Traveller Education Coordinator with Munster Technological University and in addition to that I'm also a member of the travelling community. I guess once I had left Crawford it took me a number of years before I really picked up my own personal practice as I had spent a number of years teaching art in different schools throughout Cork City and County. But when I did return to my own practice, um, I began to pick up on all the things that I had left kind of parked when I, when I did leave Fort Year. Um, and I fell in love with it again and I realized this is something that I have to continue. And I always describe it as it was an itch that needed to be scratched. And I think it was 2014, I was given the first opportunity to have um, a solo exhibition. And I remember on the night that we opened feeling so proud um, with what I had achieved and I knew from that point on this was definitely something that I needed to do again in the future. So while I was at college I would have spent a lot of time um, fighting different processes and I used the word fighting because I felt like I needed to choose one above the other um, before coming to the realisation that it didn't really matter as long as I was able to achieve the visual that I desired for whatever concept or idea that I wanted to put across. So the processes that I do use are a mixture of painting, print, photography um, and for a long time I did kind of think about which of these is more important to me but as I said at the end of the day I don't think it matters and I have a tendency to layer them all and play around with them and experiment with them and sometimes a piece might end up being a combination of or a mixture of painting, print, photography and drawing all layered into one piece and if I'm happy with the final result then it becomes a mixed media piece. So the piece is called Pavi Presence. When I'm titling a lot of my pieces, the title is just as important to me sometimes as the visual, um, because I, I know in the way in which some people can read things, um, it can put across a different perspective or point of view. So I always think a lot about how my viewer might read this. Um, and I suppose Pavi Presence, um, Pavi meaning traveler, not a lot of people might know that, but it's, it's the Kant word for traveler. So I have a tendency to try and use words that come from Kant or Gammon, which would be the native language of Irish travellers. Um, so I do that very consciously so that I can get people kind of asking questions about the community in more ways than one. Um, so Pavi Presence is about looking at a community and seeing people for who they truly are instead of considering different stereotypes or assumptions that you might have heard about them um, so it's really about asking the viewer to ask questions and to get them to think about who these people might be. And because the piece in itself I think is visually quite beautiful, um, the piece is about seeing the beauty in all people and all things. So I hope when people look at it that they'll actually consider members of the community as individuals and try and get to know them for the individuals that they are and see the beauty in all people. So the way in which I took this photograph um, Pave presence, I intentionally took it through a slow exposure, so the piece in itself is a, is a true photograph, um, and the reason I did that is because I intentionally wanted to achieve a very blurry view of this setting. Um, the piece in itself is taken in front of a traveller's stall at a horse fair. I remember as a child being at a horse fair and on numerous occasions being asked um, to pose for my photograph. And I was quite young at a time and I suppose um, this happened quite regularly and I often wondered afterwards where did these photographs go to or what happened with them and so on. Um, and in the years that followed I did a little bit of research and a lot of images popped up um, that were taken at horse fairs and I began to realise actually there's a certain amount of imagery out there that's being portrayed and conceived in a certain way that isn't necessarily true to the community and this didn't sit well with me. Um, so much so that I actually had members of my own family in a photograph alongside an article that was completely false and untrue. And when I showed this to my family member, he was completely unaware of how it was used and in what context it was used. So that really angered me. Um, so I intentionally went to the same horse fair and took these photographs in a way that hadn't been done before um, with the intention of again asking people to ask questions about what is actually happening here, instead of taking a picture at face value and believing what you're being told by what is ultimately an outsider. Um, so when I do take the images 
in this hazy sense, um, I am trying to get the person to ask more questions about what actually is going on.